Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss how to print this sequence in MATLAB. See, already in my previous video, I have discussed Fibonacci sequence, Tribonacci sequence and uh, another sequence like 1, then next number 1, 1, then next number 1, 1, 1, then next number 1, 1, 1, 1, like that. Okay, sequence of 1's printing also I have shown. So, uh, for all these, the basic rule is first you have to understand what is the pattern or the mathematical expression what the se given sequence is following to print it to print the next number like here you just try to observe the sequence very clearly and easily you can find out what is the pattern it is following so 1 then minus 3 then 5 then minus 7 then 9 and so on see all of these are odd numbers 1 if you take magnitude then you can easily understand 1 3 5 7 9 dot dot so odd numbers are basically printing okay next what is the happening what is one more thing happening here that one after other odd number is just given one minus symbol okay so see here 1 then next odd number is 3 so it is multiplied with minus 1 so that you can see this is minus 3 then 5 5 is remaining as it is now next number is taking minus 7 okay so this minus 1 is multiplied with this sequence one uh, with gap of one element okay so this is one more point so first step first thing first just try to write the MATLAB code for printing the odd number then later we will think what we can do so x equal to input then enter the number up to which the, you want to, to print the sequence so enter the number okay so i hope you can understand this very easily now what you have to do we have to print the odd number right so for i variable will take a loop uh, uh, so first code is very simple that i am going to use for loop and suppose you take i equal to 1 initial value 1 then with increment of 2 suppose i want to uh, take the final value as 10 then see what is the i 1 3 5 7 9 so basically if you the starting odd number the first odd number is 1 right 0 is even number so with increment of 2 we can get odd number so this is the simple algorithm to get odd number so that's what i am going to follow here also instead of that writing directly i am just using the loop so for i equal to 1 colon 2 colon x okay then y equal to i okay because i is basically odd numbers so 1 uh, with increment of 2 so y is equal to i and as i told you already in my previous video to store you should first define one empty variable before starting the for loop then here you should define like this so y equal to y then small y bracket close end okay so let's hope this code should run so evaluate selection enter the number let me give up to three and let's check so now you write capital y see one and three are it is it is printed here so this code is for printing the odd number it is done now what we have to do see this sequence carefully again 1 minus 3 5 minus 7 9 already we were able to compute this see what we have already got 1 3 5 7 9 dot dot this sequence we already derived okay and algorithm is also clear i hope so now what you have to do with consecutive numbers with one gap what we have to do we have to print minus 1 so that we can get our original sequence that is 1 minus 3 5 minus 7 9 so what i want to say first element you multiply with 1 okay the next element you multiply with minus 1 then again next element you multiply with 1 then again next element you multiply with what minus 1 of the sequence which we already have that is 1 3 5 7 9 if you multiply 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 and so on with each element you can get is 1 minus 3 5 minus 7 9 right so how to write the code for that sequence which will basically give us this sequence that is once 1 then next time minus 1 then 1 then next time minus 1 if you have studied your 
basic mathematics course then you know that this is that is very simple and the code is minus of 1 to the power n okay i am let me write in editor window so that code is very simple that is simply minus of 1 to the power n okay so how it will generate suppose let me take n equal to 0 what will be value of minus 1 to the power n 1 right then n equal to 1 what will be the value minus 1 to the power 1 will be minus 1 then n equal to 2 what will be the value tell me minus 1 to the power 2 that means 1 okay then n equal to 3 what will be the value n equal to 3 minus 1 to the power 3 is nothing but minus 1. So, minus 1 to the power n will basically give us this requirement that is 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1. So, simply what, what we have to do, we have to add that factor in this. So, i star minus of 1 to the power n. Okay. So, this is done. Now, we should increment the n, right? See, to get the 1 minus or 1 minus 1 sequence, we are incrementing n, right? So, n equal to n plus 1, simply, right? And increment of i will be taken care by this uh, 1 colon 2 colon x, that is, i will be incremented by factor of 2. And see, n is not initialized. So, you if you run this, you will directly get one error. So, better to give one and uh, one initial value that is n equal to 0. Now, if you check, see, first what will happen for n equal to 0, uh, initially i equal to 1. So, 1 to the power 1 star minus of 1 to the power 0. That is, that is 1 will be printed. The next element when i will be incremented by 2, it will be 3. So, i will be 3 and n will be n plus 1. That is, n will be 1. So, 3 into minus of 1 to the power 1. That is minus 3. Like that, you can have dry run and you know what is dry run. Dry run is nothing but simply uh, by uh, calculation method that is not simulating using software. You just simulate by your brain uh, and you can check whether your code is correct or not. So, let us now run this directly. So, what you do? You just, uh, okay. So, here, yeah, okay, fine. So, control A evaluate selection okay so enter the number let me give the number as 9 okay now in capital y variable our value is stored because here we have written this format that is capital y equal to third bracket y small y third bracket plus so in capital y our answer is stored so you just write capital y in common window and click enter and see what you are getting that is 1 minus 3 5 minus 7 9 okay that is odd number sequence but there will be minus sign okay repeated repetition will be there in between three uh, two numbers so let me give for higher values suppose 15 let me give now capital y you just write see 1 then minus 3 then 5 then minus 7 then 9 then minus 11 then 13 then minus 15 okay so this is the way how you should uh, first uh, try to understand what is the algorithm of the code. See, by looking at the sequence itself, you can understand, okay, odd number is printing, but 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1 is multiplied with each number consecutively. So, in this way, you can solve any numericals very easily, whether it is MATLAB or Java or C or C++ or Python, okay. So, same algorithm you can apply for Java also, but there will be certain modifications like you cannot directly write this input command. You have, should, you have to first write import uh, java.util.scanner, then scanner obj equal to new scanner system.in. Like those comments are there, but the algorithm is same for all the programming languages, okay? So, this is all for my this video. If you find this video helpful for the beginning concepts in your MATLAB, Please like, share and comment and subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you for watching.